Paula. And first up, we want to tell you about a man who has been shot to death in security. We're still piecing together the details about exactly what happened, though. The shooting happened just before 2 this afternoon at a home on Main Street near Easter Drive. Excuse me, Esther Drive. The area around the home remains sealed off by the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Here at Yoni's Channel 13's Scott Harrison has been at the crime scene for most of the afternoon. He's live with a breaking news update. Hi, Scott. Hello again. Well, the investigation out here on Main Street and security continues as it has for about four hours now. Let's get in a little bit closer and show you a better look at the crime scene from up the street from where we are right now. Now, the sheriff's office, El Paso County, is in charge of the investigation here. They have not released the name of the man shot to death, and they have not released much in the way of other information either. But we have heard two different versions of events out here from two neighbors. Now, first, let's take you to video of the scene that we got for you earlier this afternoon. When we arrived at the scene, a woman told us that she understood that the man who was shot to death was shot by a friend of hers in the home in question and that the man shot was trying to break in at the time. And then, just a little while ago, we spoke with the woman down the street who says she saw this man who was shot to death fleeing from authorities at the time. There was a cop and some um, one of the inmates he had getting into an altercation. All I saw was him get kicked, and then the guy ran up the street. Um, I went to my backyard, heard about two or three different gunshots, came out about 10 minutes later, and that's when they were cautioning everything off. So there's two different accounts of the shooting from a neighbor and from a witness. Of course, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has not confirmed any of this as of yet. And the Sheriff's Office told us earlier that it's likely they won't release any new details about this investigation until tomorrow. Now, back here live at the scene on Main Street in security, when we spoke with the Sheriff's Office earlier today, they said they were going to do two things this evening. One is they were, they were going to talk to four people who were in the house at the time of the shooting, presumably the family that lives there, and also they were in the process of getting a search warrant to search that home to try to confirm and determine exactly what happened. Now, we will continue to track this story for you and bring you another update coming up tonight at 10. For now, we're live in security. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.